Good evening and salutations, my Jade fans. <laughs> We're going to start off with Jordan and Curtis. Hmm. How do I want to describe this scene? I understood why Curtis is upset. You know? Because she knew for a while. And every day she kept getting in his face. Every day they would sit and have interactions. I wouldn't sit there and say getting in his face. But every day that they had interactions, she was lying to him. You know, a lie of omission is still a lie. So, I understand why he was upset. Then he found out that not only did she not know, I mean, that, that she knew, but she knew for two years. And she couldn't even be bothered to give him a heads up. I get that. Again, two years, every day them interacting with each other was every day that she was lying to him. So, I understood that. Here's the thing, though. At the same time, one, it wasn't her story to tell. Two, she's working. You done barged in her office, and she's already said to talk about there's things she has to do. She has a lot of paperwork. She has things going on. She don't need you up in her face, in her office, in her workplace, and that they're picking a fight with her. Because that's, and in a lot of ways, that's, what it felt like he was doing a little bit. You know, like he was angry and upset. Then there was one point, where after he did all that, he sat down, because he was not to talk about tree, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you don't walk in this woman's place of business, berated her, and had the audacity to sit your little tail down and start what you're you're venting to her now? You're you're cool with her. You like like what what have you walked in the door and you were to treat her like she was enemy number one? Now you sit down like 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 you need some comfort for her. Are you kidding me? So I again, I always sit there and try to look at these situations. You know, I always sit there and try to look at it from two different angles, especially when. When Curtis, is, I mean, especially when Jordan was like, yo, listen, I I can't exactly know what she said, but she was pretty much standing there ground, which I did like, you know? Because she was like, yo, listen, what are you sitting there doing here picking a fight with me? You need to sit there and be talking to this, hashing this out with Portia. Talk to Trina instead of getting off my face. And I'm like, bro, she got a point. <laughs> I was like, she got, a, she got a point, bro. Like, why are you up in her face? So... I get it if people are going to sit there and be upset. But here's the thing. As much as people think that Curtis was giving her a lot of smoke, he really wasn't. He was just as calm, if not calmer, with Portia. You know? Like, it was the, it was the same monotone, like, this wasn't like, oh, I can't believe you did this, you know, I could have been spending time with my daughter, she's my daughter, I, I felt like it would have been a little bit more emotional outpour, you know, but it really wasn't, it, it, it really wasn't, it just seemed like, it was more like he just came in there to give her a slight headache, which again, is disappointing, but, uh, you know, it's GH, so, um, yeah. Now let's talk about Spencer and Lauren. Spencer and this little pity party. <sighs> that was a headache to sit there and listen to. And at the end of the day, you know, it is it is what it is. You got manipulated. Here's the thing. How much did he actually get manipulated? I mean, you stop to think about that. I mean, because as man, Ryan can only work with whatever's inside of him. You know, Laura Smith there saying it wasn't you. You know, these people are manipulating you, and he's sitting there blaming himself. I'm like, good. I mean, let's be honest. You know, Laura at the end was like, at the end of the day, you got to sit there, 
take the lessons, take take the L's that you've given, that you've been given, or that you got, learn from them, grow and change. Because after a while, she was like, all right, first of all, you need to sit there and stop with the whole um, self-pity party, which I was all too thrilled to sit there and hear. And after about five to seven minutes of that, <sighs> it was a lot. <laughs> that was a headache. That was that was a lot. It was one point he was up there like yelling and raising his voice. I was like, bro, if we don't tone that down, like, and, like, and, and seriously, it was like, I mean, granted, he wasn't like yelling at her, like he was mad, but he was like yelling her direction. It was like, bro. Is, uh, take that down like about five notches. That's that's what you need to do. Okay. Wonder wonder where that energy was when book was up in his face, but whatever. Um, I'm not really too sure why Esme allowed Heather in that room, other than to get the satisfaction of. Nope, you're not going to see me, you're not going to see my baby, and that's just going to be that. Because otherwise, I just, I didn't get the point of that. I really didn't. <sighs> I mean, she let this woman just prattle on and on and on and on and on. Oh, you know, I'm going to protect you, and, you know, you can protect the baby, and, you know, you have rice up to, like, 12 months, and we're going to just be a happy little family, and just went on and on and on, and towards the end, oh, yeah, um, yeah, you're not going to send me out a baby. Well, that was about 15 minutes of my life I could have got back, but sure. I guess, again, she just wants the satisfaction of just Telling her no. Liz, 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 Liz. So, I was going to call Christina. Molly came in there because she's the assistant. And she hears Liz's story. And she, she talks about it from beginning to end. Everything that happened. You know, and the, you know, and this thing of, um, you know, getting a, a deal of immunity. Yeah, cool. You told your story. Now, before she did that, she was on the phone with Finn, and she was like, oh, do you think this is a good idea? You know, you, you think this is like a mistake that I'm doing? I was like, oh, sweetheart, it's too late now. <laughs> is this a mistake? Well, you're in a police station, so I think at this point, that that really, like, that you should just get that out of your head. I, I think you should really get that out of your head. Now, she tells the story and everything, and... You know, Mario's like, yeah, you know, you're still going to get the immunity deal and everything like that. And then Liz's like, but even if I don't deserve it, what the f <laughs> What? Well, it's almost like you want them to say to me, like, mm, you know what, you have a point. Have a point. Maybe, maybe like three months in, in um, Penville, I was going to say state, Statesville, but that's a days of a lot. I'm like, do you want to sit there and just send you to jail for like three months or something like that? If I, if I, even if I don't deserve it? I think even her lawyer was just like. But now it's over, you know, they, well, first of all, Molly has to sit there and accuse herself because, you know, Nicholas involved and everything like that, which I guess in some ways I'm surprised she didn't. I mean, I don't know how close. Well, I guess she's not really close to Liz, and she's not really close to Cam and stuff like that. So I guess it's somewhat fine. I don't know. You know that family is so kind of intertwined in some ways. But anyway, she accused herself, and um, now Nicholas is kind of not Nicholas. Now Liz is kind of worried about Nicholas as far as you know them throwing a book at him and stuff like that. I'm like Liz. Just, just go on. <laughs> like, seriously, just go on. Scotty was able to actually pull that off, so, you know. Like, you could, I mean, granted, I felt like it was probably an easy enough case that even Scotty could sit there and pull off. So, okay, sure. Um, Ava lost it. After Ava, there was one point where Ava was sitting there blaming Ryan for manipulating this whole situation. 
and then killing Nicholas. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Did bro, did you just sit there and somehow went ring around the rosy to the point where you got to this is Ryan's fault, me killing Nicholas. Okay, I don't really understand how she came up with that idea, but sure, they talk about that for a little bit. Then towards the end, when, you know, Finn walks in, and <clears throat> I think Ava asked about Liz and how she's doing and stuff like that, and I don't exactly remember what he said, but he was pretty much just like, good luck. And then she goes back into the room, and she's like, Austin, you need to sit there and get dressed. We got to sit there and move this body. We got to move it now because Liz and her conscience and her conscience is just about to sit there and screw us over. And let's be clear. It is going to be us at this point, not just her. Pretty sure it's some fingerprints that is, um, that is his on there as well. Now, just going into Trina and Jocelyn's scene, I'm going to be honest, kind of tuned out after a while. I mean, in the beginning... I felt bad for Trina, and I still do, but it just seemed like it was just the same thing. It, did. it really just seemed like Trina was sitting there whining about what Portia did and about how she's confused and what it means for her family as far as her not knowing, you know, you know, this whole dad situation. And then she kind of snaps at Jocelyn and talks about, oh, Taggart is my real dad. I was like, I right, would just relax. She was just asking, she was just asking a question, like, they talk about that, and then she talks about how she kissed Spencer, and he was there for her, and blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it was about this scene that just, I I really didn't care. Um, now, I am going to find it interesting when Trina does find out that Jocelyn is with Dads down the line. I'm, I'm going to be very interested about that. I'm going to sit there and... Um, be interested in her whole take on it because Jocelyn is, is her friend, but so is Karen. And then when she finds out that Josh cheated on Cam with Dax, that's going to be a story. That's going to be a story. Let's see. Is that actually about it? I feel like there might have been more. Oh, yeah, Dante was there. He didn't really, you know. Oh, Dante. Remember when Dante used to actually have really interesting storylines? He was like front and center. He was actually doing stuff. Now he's out there flying to Ireland to sit there and get Maggie, which didn't really do or accomplish anything because the hook kill was already found. Yeah, the good old days. So, um, Dante and Sam. That's what we got now. Oh, also, um, Laura talked to Heather. Heather threatened Laura. And then she got taken off to jail. That was it. That was, that was pretty much about it. <laughs> really, that's about it. I can't really think of anything else that happened. Now, I will say this before I go. Even though this episode didn't seem like it was super exciting. Oh, also, Spencer came into Esme's room and pretty much was like, I'm taking the baby. Because you're not going to be chilling with that baby in jail. That's just not going to happen. That was it, I think. Now, <clears throat> I will say this. Even though this episode didn't seem like it was like super crazy or anything like that. Keep watching. Things will get interesting. Okay? Just take my word for it. <laughs> okay? Take my word for it. That's all I'm going to sit there and say. Things will get interesting. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else that happened. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not... I'm going to see how the rest of this evening plays out. Please. If you can tell by the sound of my voice, coming down with something. I have no idea what. It's not super bad, but it's not 
great either. I just sit there and probably, I practically had to sit there and take a bunch of pain medication and um, some lozenges. So that was a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I will see how I'm feeling later on. Because, you know, I don't like sitting there not doing lives. I love doing lives. I love sitting there talking to people. It's, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to say. I think most likely yes, but we'll see as this day progresses. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe, and I will see you in the next video.